Welcome to the evil of page extensible equal false. Hey, I'm Eric and um, I've been back and forth whether I should do this video or not because um, the, the topic for today's video is kind of controversial, but I've decided to do it. So um, the topic is a property on a page called extensible. Um, let me just show you what I'm talking about. Um, here is here is a random page from the this is from the one field report, but it could be any page. So what you can do on a page is that you can say that this page is extensible equal false. And what does that mean? Well, that means that this page can now not be modified with a page extension object. So you cannot go in and create a page extension that will access this page. It's locked out. And the reason Microsoft did this is very reasonable. Uh, let me show, here is the base app. Uh, and if we search for credentials, for instance, we can see that like page 7202, CDS admin credentials. This one is marked extensible equal false, which make kind of sense that a random app that you install from, from app source cannot just extend this one and go in and scoop out what uh, your admin user ID and, and password for, for CDS, uh, which would be a problem. Um, so th there's a purpose for this property. Um, and, and the purpose is, of course, to protect stuff like this. Microsoft are not entirely consistent. So if we look at this page, you can see that there's a office admin where you can enter credentials and this is not extensible false and let's check this one is not either office admin credential that's not it and exchange client that one is um so but but that's probably something Microsoft is gonna fix. Um, and right now, anything that comes out of the system application app seems to be all extensible equal false, which is kind of evil also. Um, but, so that's the property and, and, that, and that's the purpose of the property. Um, now, the problem that I have seen in one spot and heard a couple of uh, stories about is that there are certain developers, partners out there who basically put extensible equal false on all the pages. Like default, everything they made is cannot be extended because then somebody else cannot come in and do something. Uh, and some weird way of trying to protect the work. Uh, so what I want to try to say with this video is that I think that's bad. I think that's against the entire uh, model of how Business Central works, how this platform uh, thrives, how we all do different things. Um, and I think if this trend is, is spreading, then we're back to something like 10 years ago or less than that, where customers are suddenly locked into a single vendor and uh, you cannot do anything yourself. You cannot use, um, like my, my one of my personal interests, apart from, I think, this is generally bad. Uh, my company, eFocus, we have an app called the Advanced Cloud Security that provides field-based uh, security, database security. And the, the app works uh, in a way where it actually builds another app with a bunch of page extensions to handle security. And 
suddenly you encounter pages that cannot be where you cannot we cannot apply security because those pages are extensible equal false even though there's no good reason for it a sub form on um, on a on a sales or order ish type of page for instance um, uh, so I, I i i totally get that like like th these examples where we we got to protect certain information like password entries and stuff like that we don't want a random app to be able to scoop up a uh, credential pages like that should be protected and it's very very rare that you need to extend that kind of page anyway but something that is transactional something that is data in your system and and suddenly being locked down i think that is very very bad so this was never meant to be a uh, a long video this is more a uh, a talking video than anything else but i have i i think i'll break it down to two messages one two customers out there that if you're a consumer of code written by um different partners make sure that your partner is not doing something like that ask them to make sure that that or if you have access to the source code, look to see if it says extensible equal false everywhere. And then, you know, talk with your partner and figure it out. And to to partners, I would say, I, if you're doing this, I think this is really really bad. And and I I strongly encourage you to you know do the right thing and, and find other ways to protect your work uh, so you can make the code not available but we can still extend it so if if even though your code is if you do uh, show my show my code whatever the, the property is called then I can still apply security to pages that are made by you uh, somebody else can still go in and do design on the page the user itself or if if, if somebody else needs to add a, add a field for some reason that that can be done um, or move stuff around or change the property stuff like that that can be done uh, so my message is very clear let's not make this something that is is the norm let's make sure that pages are extensible and only actually use that property when you want to protect sensitive data like passwords or user information stuff like that that really should never be snooped out by any other app um so yeah that's it a a bit of a different video from me but uh it's 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 something that i have a strong uh, opinion about and I wanted to share with you and let me know in the comments below if if you do this then I would really love to hear from you why you're doing this and 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 the reasoning uh, you you give I, I would love to have that discussion in comments uh, bring it on um, otherwise uh, if you agree with me let me know in the comments below or if you think this is worth this discussing then let me know also anyway that's it for me for this time a short talking video uh stay tuned next week or whatever it is we're back with more uh, more development so take care stay safe and i'll see you soon